An investigation is underway following the death of a man at the Kendall Calling Music Festival. That was the day life as I knew it stopped. The CID walked through the door. They wanted to speak to me about what had happened. You know, was it really a conspiracy? You know, I was just out to have some fun with a few friends. I think everyone was kind of panicked because it was a shock to us all because that had happened and we couldn't get into contact with anyone. Everyone's being taken into hospital. I thought that they'll be okay. I thought they were in good hands, you know. I was very wrongly optimistic about it. I arrived at work about just before eight o'clock on the morning of Christian's death. One of my colleagues says to me, there's been a death at Kendall Calling. We headed straight down to the festival. It's a very, very confused scene. You have a real time pressure situation. And our priority is just trying to save lives. Who at that festival is selling that same batch of drugs? The police came over. I heard them talking like amongst themselves and they were kind of like, if only we knew where the, the pills came from. And something clicked in me. I, I didn't even think about it at that point. I just kind of went, oh, I know where they're from. I had remembered that I'd met a guy there the year before. We must have transferred numbers, and he'd text me exactly a year down the line. We didn't really think there was anything to be nervous about, so everyone was perky about going to get the drugs or the ecstasy. We'd all given Simon a bit of money to get like, I think it was maybe like a fiver or something for a pill. I had about 40 or 60 pounds that was um, given from the whip round from all of my friends. He said, oh, I'm gonna go and meet this person and I'm gonna go get some pills. And I was like, oh, okay. And he said, but I'm gonna take your phone with me. I said, oh, I'll come along with you then because you've got my phone. So I'd gone to meet Luke outside of his tent. It was a big blue tent. Simon knew him from previous festivals because he'd been quite a lot. So he already knew this person. I didn't think anything of it at all. And then he invited me in. Obviously, he knew what I was there for. He still recognised me from the year before. We had a little bit of a talk, you know, like, you know, how things with you and whatnot. And he handed me, it would have been like 10, between 10 and 15 tablets. That was it, the deal was done, and I took them back to one of my friends and passed them out to who they belonged to, yeah. I think me and Chris had took two each, because we'd given a tenner and everyone else had taken one. And we'd taken them and then we were just hoping that we'd have a good night. Rumour is going around, but no concrete information about what's happened and what substances to avoid. We need to stop them. We can't have people being ill from the same bat. The police came over. I was still in my onesie and um, my socks. I didn't have any wellies on. It was wet, it was cold, it was raining. It was horrible. And I just kind of stormed through the tent and I said, it's over here. I stood and watched them go into these tent and pull everything out of it. And it was just kind of extreme, the amount of drugs that this guy had on him. And I was like, wow. I was in sheer panic. I was like, oh my God, I've got so many people into trouble. Everyone's gonna hate me. What if Simon gets into trouble? We were halfway to the hospital and the police found us to say that they'd got him at the police station in Carlisle and that we had to go there. He asked me to go in the toilet with him and he just broke down. And he said, I don't know what's happening. When we 
we brought Simon in, there was no doubting that we were saying to him that he was considered a suspect in the supplying of the drugs. He provided a lot of information, he talked freely. I haven't really been in any trouble with the police before, but I think they're always quite intimidating characters. I don't think he was trying to sort of be unhelpful, maybe a little bit evasive or a little bit lacking in terms of certain details. He didn't want to probably maybe even fully admit to himself at that point. They were trying to work out, obviously, if I was a, a drug dealer. The way I look at it is basically I was the middleman. Unfortunately, I was the middleman in all of this. There was no master plan in getting rid of all these drugs at this festival. I was just out with my friends, and we all wanted to enjoy ourselves and have a good time. There's weeks and weeks of work to do as, as a team of detectives on that case. We've got a lot more inquiries to do in terms of the telephone data to analyse, drugs to send off for analysis. We're, we're quite happy Simon's clearly involved in the supply of drugs that have led to Christian's death. It was at that point where I thought, right, gosh, taking all this in now, it's like there's, there's going to be some serious consequences here.